Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you how to install the Lutron motion sensor single pole light switch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program the settings in the switch. Unfortunately, in some models of this switch, the packaging does not contain the installation or programming instructions. They only come with this QR code that you need to scan, go to the Lutron website, download the instructions and then do the programming. The programming settings for the Lutron motion sensor switch can be divided into three main categories. The first category is the timeout settings which decide how long the light will stay on or how long it will take to turn off after someone leaves the room. The second category is the sensor mode settings which decide whether the switch will function in occupancy mode or vacancy mode, whether it will automatically turn on the light and automatically turn off the light when someone enters and leaves the room or it can be set to manual on, auto off or auto on, manual off settings like that. The third category is advanced settings wherein you set the sensitivity of the motion sensor or motion detector to low or high and you can also reset all settings to factory defaults. Before you can do these settings you have to make sure that the switch is installed correctly and it is working with its default factory settings. I will move the camera closer so you can see how I press this large button and you can also notice that flashlight will blink certain number of times when I do the settings. Now the first category of settings is the timeout settings which dictate how long the light will stay on after someone leaves the room. I will press this button and you will notice the flashlight will blink. If it blinks once the switch enters the test mode. I will press this large button and wait for this flashlight to blink. One, it has blinked once. I will leave it now so the switch has entered the test mode can move around and the light will turn on or off within 15 seconds. This setting is useful when you first install the switch to test it. Press the button again. Wait for this flashlight to blink twice. One, two, leave it. Now the setting is for one minute. That means the light will turn off one minute after someone leaves the room. Next, press the button again. Wait for this flashlight to blink once, two times, three times, leave the button. Now the light will remain on up to five minutes after someone leaves the room. Then it will turn off. Similarly, you can press this button, wait for this flashlight to blink four times and then the timeout setting will be 15 minutes. If you wait for five flashes, timeout setting will be 30 minutes. For sensor mode settings, I have to access the tab under this wall plate. So I have to remove the wall plate first. We will use this small tab to do the sensor mode settings. I will take a screwdriver to press this tab. By default, the sensor mode settings are for auto on and auto off. That means the light will turn on when somebody enters the room and the light will turn off when the person leaves the room. This is called the occupancy mode. And how long the light will stay on after someone leaves the room is dictated by the timeout settings that I just explained it. Press this tab and wait for this light to blink. One. Leave it. This is also the default setting. The sensor mode is now auto on and auto off. To change these settings to manual mode or vacancy mode, press the tab again and wait for two flashes. One, two, leave it. Now when someone enters the room, he will manually press the button and turn on the light but the light will automatically turn off when the person leaves the room and the time is dictated by the timeout settings that I explained earlier. One more setting, press this button and wait for flashlight to blink three times. One, two, three. Now the sensor is set for auto on daylight sensing and auto off. Daylight sensing means that the light will turn on only if the natural light or ambient light in the room is low. If the room has or sufficient light, the light will not turn on. 
The third category of settings is advanced settings for which we have to press this large button as well as this tab together and wait for the flashlight to blink. One flash. With one flash, the motion sensitivity is set to low. That means the light will not turn on if someone is sitting in the room and just moving his head or hands or, or feet, the light will stay off. Press again, wait for two flashes. One, two, leave it. Now the motion sensitivity is set to high and this is also the default settings. If I press this large button and this tab together and wait for the flashlight to blink three times, then all settings you have done will be reset to factory default. In certain cases, the daylight sensing of the switch may not function as you desire. If the light turns on when there's enough natural light or if the switch does not turn on when there is not enough natural light, in either case it does not behave as you desire, you can change that. You can press the large button within 5 seconds of entering the room. After some time, this interaction with the switch will teach it your preferred settings. When all settings are done, you can go ahead and replace the wall plate. So that's all for this video. Let me know in comments if I have made any mistake. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.